All right, y'all. So we're in the water, ready to go. Got my buddy Jared. Got my buddy Henderson. And we are ready to roll. So let's head out here and get some fish. <laughs> That spot right there where that current flow is going to be a good spot. We caught some in that little mouth right there, and that where that current's flowing around, uh -huh. it's going to be a good spot. Oh, no, you just do your thing, bud. It is. Cooler right there. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Oh, yeah, he's 15. He goes right here in the cooler. Oh, welcome to the ice. Yeah, he's right there. Throw it right off the edge of that grass. Oh, I got a fish. I got a fish. Yeah. Don't steal, little buddy. Y'all want to see an extinct species? I got one. Extinct. Look, North Kakalaki. This is not extinct. See you in September, homie. That bait's big as he is. I know. There's a fish. He was little. The nets, he's got the net over there. Let's see what we got. <laughs> you can cut him up for bait. Drum love them and so do sheep's head. Oh really? Fish on. Little drum. You want one of these gold and white ones? Gold on the bottom. Man, I've had more luck with this one bait. No matter, I mean, down here especially, for some reason, they just love it. It must be the watercolor or something. Um, mm, another one. Daggone it. 
the non ex the extinct American flounder. Yeah. See you in the September, homie. All right, y'all, so we moved up. Wind's still blowing 10, 15 mile an hour, easy. Still got a little bit of trolling motor issues, no fault of anybody's own. That is not poop on Jared's pants, it is mud. <laughs> and so we're gonna use everything we can to catch these fish. Let's do it. And if, it might be a school of them. If you don't scare them, they'll sit right there and you can cash right into them. That was boat waves from somewhere. Mm. Henderson, get net. That's a heck of a flounder. Oh, good gosh. Anything got me loose, buddy? Good gosh. <laughs> a boss flounder at that. Go ahead, do your thing. Good golly. There, okay. How long he is? Uh, 19. 19. 20. All right, so this point's proven productive. Two and a half foot right here at the grass. It drops right off. Got current working around. Just called a nice 20 inch flounder. That makes a 19 and a 20. Just kind of working this jerk bait. Swooped it right up, but something is just working bait around this point like crazy. They ain't been fast, but when we caught them, they've been nice. So I'm just casting out past it as far as I can, and then just like the current will bring them around, 
I'm just bringing it around the point. Nice and easy, just bouncing off the bottom. Kind of like an injured fish. How you fish a jerk bait. So just popping it a couple times, reeling the slack. Popping it, letting it fall, reeling in the slack. Mm. Fish on! Oh, that's a nice trout. No, that's another flounder. Yeah. So, there he is. Same technique. Work. So Jared just landed in my flounder. You're fine. All right, y'all. So we are going to try and catch some sheep's head. <laughs> Caught a couple flounder, a couple trout, a couple problems. But we're going to catch sheep's head now. Come on along. Look at Jerry. Got some crabs. crab. Got some crab. crab. Come on, let's have some fun. Boys and girls, we're getting ready to have some fun now. Fiddler crabs, sheep are head. I've never done this. It can be aggravating fishing. Oh, that sounds like a great time. How big they gotta be? Yeah, man, four <laughs> First one. I, I have never it. caught a sheep's head before. There you go. That's that awesome. a little bit. Uh huh. You can see them teeth. Oh, yeah. That's the man. Right there. How, how long is it? Stick them right there. These are fork length. So, come this way a little bit. Right about there. Fork length. He's to the, to right yeah, there to enter the tail. 14, 14 and a half fork. Right oh, there. yeah. 14 uh, and a half. 14 and a half. Yeah. They gotta be able to what? Uh, oh, okay. Gotta be Jimmy. Well, that was awesome. It, it, was, hard, it was hard to tell. Yeah, but when all of a sudden my line started coming this way and I just picked up. God, you want? Oh yeah. yeah. You got it. Get it on there, Jerry Snell. Get it on there. He's nice too. Give him, him. Get it. Get it. Get it. Yes, sir. Ready? Gotcha. Let's get the measure. Let's get it. What? Fourteen inches. They're almost twins. Right, almost fourteen. Yeah. I was I was thinking the same thing, Henderson. I think I'm going with my heavy. I got a hip. I got heavies, different sizes in there. I got some heavy ones if you need one. Hey, I want to try that. Have you That's how to hit. Okay. All right. So that's going to conclude our trip. We had a great time down here. We caught. Spanish, we caught blues, we caught, what did we catch? Uh, drum. Drum, sheep's head. Flounder. Flounder, trout, crabs, 
Yep. And even an attitude from Henderson. Uh -huh. But <laughs> but we had a great time. Me and Jared are the OGs. Uh, we have been friends forever. We actually kind of thought about starting this channel up and it's just kind of go on. But we have had a blast. Appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for Gear Time and uh, we'll catch you later. Peace. All right, what's up guys? Welcome to Gear Time. I'm gonna go through this kind of quick, but I want you to make it a little more personal. So here we go. So the big winners today, everything's on a quarter ounce. I really went with a, a red jig head today. It stood out um, and I don't know why, but down there on the Outer Banks, it, it really does good for me. So um, red jig head, uh, this right here was the winner of the day. Caught a lot of fish, but it's got that pearl blue glimmer. It's a um, five inch uh, jerk shad by Z-Man, really good. Old Faithful, beer run. Red head, I guess it looks like an injured fish. Uh, this one is a, uh, actually it's a four inch, um, but on that beer run color, jerk shad, fire. Um, this one right here, my mulligan from Salt Strong. Um, this one here is the Fred color. I guess it looks like the bait fish, it reminds you of a shrimp color too. Uh, I, I pair it with a white jig head and it just seems to do really, really well, but it was really good today. Um, had a lot of action. And then last but not least is my Pearl Blue Glamour 4 inch uh, Z-Man. I just put a, um, I put a trout eye, uh, a red eye jig head in here. Get a little bit further back. Everything today has got that red eye. Uh, jig head so that, that hook sticks further back because it's longer baits um, but that's what we use today that's what we caught stuff with um, jared he he loves electric chicken so he had a uh, three inch electric chicken on um, on a uh, trout eye jig head everything we used today was quarter ounce um, i used a 43 2 uh, jawbreaker jig it's what i caught my sheep head on um, and it just worked flawlessly. Caught him right in the corner of the mouth. Uh, mad props to Travis and them at 43.2 Fishing. Check them out on Instagram. And uh, just some really good quality tackle. Brought in a lot of fish today. Had a lot of fun. And like I said, uh, the OGs put it on the OBX today and we just had a blast. So thank you for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, uh, share, uh, comment, and subscribe. And come on back and join us each chance you get. And I really appreciate you watching, okay? Thanks, guys. Peace out. Take care.